All right, so what's up guys and welcome to welcome to Watch Dogs 2. I've been battling myself whether I should play this game or not for a couple of weeks now. I've bought this game and I've thought about it over and over and over again. Honestly, I've just been kind of scared that I might start like a new series on a game that's kind of old and it may just flop. But considering that we do have a new Watch Dogs coming out, I don't want to be completely clueless. And although I played the first Watch Dogs, I didn't really play the second one. I've heard a lot of people say that this game, although it's not the greatest, it is a very, very fun game. And that's what I'm here for. I did start a new game, but literally did absolutely nothing. I was running in circles trying to test the graphics and stuff. Because again, I'm going to be playing this on PC. And hopefully, hopefully it doesn't crash on me or anything crazy like that. Playing on PC can sometimes be a little bit of a headache, but I want to see the extra quality, at least on my end, and experience this game to its fullest potential. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys would like to make this a full series here on the channel, please do let me know in the comments. Just drop the video a like, and um, I will try my best to spam videos on Watch Dogs 2. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to bypass Bloom security doors and get inside. Then find and erase your personal CTOS profile. Whatever they have on me, it's all bullshit. <laughs> and I'm sick of getting harassed for it. All the more reason for a purge. We'll be watching. Our Try purge. Keep up. By the way, we put this playlist together to set the mood. Hope you like it. So this is this is where I was running in circles. Uh, one little thing that I always do whenever I'm gonna try out new games on PC before playing them I always mute the entire game. So I don't get like anything spoiled So uh, I know it's pointless information that you probably don't give a crap about but I just thought I'd share that with you I just hate playing a game and then having to replay the same thing like right like right like probably like 10 minutes after I hate doing that like, I don't mind if it's a couple months later, but I just hate it. So um, Okay, so press X to move from cover to cover and press circle or pull back to exit cover. Okay, that, that makes sense. Oh, okay. Kind of Gears of Warish. Oh, we've got a camera there. Press circle to melee enemies. Really? <laughs> what is that? Hold up on the D-pad to open up the equipment wheel and hold L to the aim and press L to shoot. Oh, okay, so we've got a gun. Oh, this is quite dangerous. Oh, that music in the background is sexy. Oh, we've got a camera here. Ooh. License suspended for DUI. This guy's making $82,000 a year? Eh. Can we tag uh, people? Oh, I took a... Okay, I, that's not what I wanted to do, man. But All right. So... Oh, dude, this is sick, bro. I heard that you can do like parkour in this game and stuff. Oh, it's a freaking taser. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> All right. No violence. I like it. Actually, I don't. I love violence. Yeah, I've, I've got visits outside my, my, my office right now. They're probably going to think I'm stupid as hell. Anyways, guys, here we go. Let's, let's, let's get into the groove of things. I think we have to head up here. Okay, so hold L1 to profile objects. Um, press R3 to follow data, data flow and collect circuit terminal. All right, hold triangle to disable the closed circuit terminal. Oh, okay. It's very similar to the first one in many ways. Obviously, well, it's a sequel. It's not, I don't know if it's a direct sequel to the first one, but you know what I mean. That's actually a good question. I, I played the first one about halfway through and I never finished it. I actually did a couple of videos here on the channel. And it's, yeah, it, it went nowhere, so it's okay. Anyways, here we are inside the facility. You're wasting your time. He's not in. So were we being like recruited or something? So that's him. He's got a gun. Is that a problem? Well, problems are why you keep me around, right? Time him. I'm curious. 
Too late. He's in. Already? <laughs> Oh, this looks good. Give me a real Look at the graphics, man. Alright, guys. Here we are. Who is he? It's... Retro. The home domain awareness hacker? That retro? Yes. We told you that already? Yeah, I never listened. Aw, oh, dude, this game looks amazing. Okay, so we're gonna go in here. Nothing in here, Any, anything valuable. To locate and acquire the access key, press uh, R3 to toggle the net hack. Hold square to hack cameras. Oh. All right, so I'll go to this camera. Oh, here we go. We can hack the computer. Access key required, intel required. Okay, so can we shut down the server tower? So did, did that open up the door? Oh, shit. Okay, there we go. We're in, boys. We are in there like swimwear. All right, so I'm assuming that I can open up all these doors, including that one. But I'm going to go up through here since it is on the higher floor. Ooh. Dude, isn't that crazy how you can like literally Ooh. So what's his deal? He was raised in Oakland but was born in <laughs> His deal is he's been hanging around the DedSec IRC and he's got cred. Figured we'd give him a test drive. On the hardest difficulty. Nobody's been able to delete their CTOS profile before. I wanna see if he's smart, stubborn, or both. Ooh, I like this game. It's like a GTA mixed with like Assassin's Creed mixed with like, I don't know, man. It's just like I've got a bunch of different vibes right now. I like it a lot. It's only the beginning, guys. So we're just going to relax here. Just going to take down these chumps. Oh, no. Ah, fuck. Wait, wait, what, what happened? Oh, we were already here, man. Okay, shut down the t the tower, the server tower. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Wipe your profile. He's done this before. CTOS tagged him as the prime suspect in a high tech burglary. So he's done time. Community service, not enough evidence. Just the word of CTOS's predictive algorithms. Uh, once in the system, always. What the fuck, dude? Get Jesus, what do you mean grenade? What is Holy that supposed shit. to mean? He went for it. You won't have much time before the backups kick in. Go to sleep. Bro, I almost died, man. These guys are vicious. Ah! Okay, good, good. So we're escaping currently. We gotta keep going higher. All right, not a problem. So how is it that those guys spotted me, shot me, and then these guys had no idea what was going on here. <laughs> bunch of, bunch of rookies. All right, we're in here, guys. He's going in the hot aisle. It's at least 120 degrees in there. And props. It's going the mile. <sighs> this guy's an expert, huh? <clears throat> or shall I say, we are experts. That's actually a genius idea to use a glow stick to illuminate the way. That's that's pretty genius. He's in the system. Nobody's gotten that far. Oh this my is like god. A cow level. Okay, so I'm assuming we go here. Vault over. 
Oh wait, what? Who said that? Oh. <laughs> Hold on. Oh wait, what? Oh God! Freaking crap! Okay, good. Just wanted to put them to sleep. That is all. Okay, so L1 to profile objects. Um, hack the terminal to reveal the network bypass nodes. Tap L1 to rotate nodes and direct the power. Oh, hack L1, the last node, to end the network bypass. Like this, maybe? Oh, I see. Now what? There we go. Nice. Very nice. I know that the next Watch Dogs is going to be extremely sophisticated with hacking and all this stuff that... What the fuck? Why are you <laughs> threats a lot? Uh... Criminal record 11? This is bullshit. Wow. Fuck. Or I could just delete the criminal records. Hmm. So I wonder if we're ever going to get an in-depth detail of what happened prior to this that will probably explain all of these criminal records. Okay, so manually select a new online profile appearance. Wait, was I supposed to select something there? Or? Just going to drop a little back door into the system so I can get back inside later. Sorry, Bloom. Remote access Trojan. He's heading out. Bag him. Yeah. Ethan's out cold. We got an intruder. Bro, that's a nuke. <laughs> the bottom one for two nuke here. <laughs> Alright, escape the server tower basement. So hacking. While targeting uh targeting an object, hold L1 to open the hack module. Trigger X object function square to create proximity trigger or triangle to shut down object function for a few seconds or circuit to attract people towards the object. Okay. Ah. Oh. So you gotta set the proximity and then attract the person to it. Check the area. I wonder if you can do it the other way around. This is literally an actual freaking Modern Warfare 2 nuke right now. <laughs> so we got to go down below. But anyways, what I was saying earlier is that I'm playing this game because I know that Watch Dogs 3 is going to be very sophisticated in the whole hacking department. Even more so than this one. So I didn't want to go into that game now that we're doing Let's Plays and stuff. I didn't want to go into that game completely blind. You know what I mean? Okay, is it in there? No, it's not there. Keep going down. How have these guys not even spotted me yet? Oh. 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 Ooh. That was a close call. I'm out of here, losers. Oh. Reinforcements have been called? Uh, Yeah, this is not... Wait, 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 what the heck? Find him, let's go. Wait, wait. Find him, go. wait, what the heck? Where am I supposed to go? Oh, it was through here. Man, this game looks smooth, dude. 
Hold it right there. Help him. Where the fuck am I going? Josh. Okay, okay. What? Fuck you, Bloom. In 2013, Chicago realized the promise of smart cities with CTOS, a citywide operating system merging big data with I thought they were working security with us. and transit programs. With a few hundred lines of code, hackers were able to hijack its central servers and cripple the entire grid. Many believed the attack would be a killing blow for smart city development. They were wrong. Coordinated from the heart of Silicon Valley, CTOS 2.0 has been implemented across the United States, ushering in the Internet of Things. 6.4 billion connected devices now serve as collection points, mapping and recording our daily routines, making a more secure and more invasive system. But who else is listening? Big Brother no longer works alone. Thousands of little brothers monitor and aggregate your every move building a complete digital profile of you to be bought, sold, or stolen in an instant. Toys study your children, reporting their play habits back to marketers. Appliances, consoles, and home security systems give corporations a window into your private life. Control of your vehicle and mobile device can now be breached remotely by anyone at any time. You may think that you are immune Bro. or underestimate the risk, but your digital shadow is already compromised. Insurance companies use algorithms to monitor your life habits and limit or deny coverage. Health providers determine if your cancer is worth treating. Search results and news views are skewed to bias mood and influence your vote, engineering social uprisings on a massive scale. You are now less valuable than the data you produce. Data you produce. This is the new reality. Going dark is no longer an option. With threats to personal freedom rising, many are stepping forward. Whistleblowers, activists, and hackers have drawn their battle lines, putting the establishment on watch. But are they threats themselves, or have they become freedom's last line of defense? Freedom's last line of defense. Dude, what the heck is this game? Uh... So? Am I in? Welcome to Dead Sec. <sighs> I'm Satara. This sweetheart is Josh, aka Hot Sauce. Yo, your hot sauce? Yo, yeah, man, I loved your frat house hat. Real talk. Thanks. <laughs> this weirdo's wrench. The needs of the many. And this Casanova is Horatio. What's up, brother? Man. It's the crew. So this huh? is the crew. <laughs> Took y'all long enough to come get me. Shit. You saw Bloom's bullshit. CTOS isn't just regulating infrastructure. The amount of personal data that thing is collecting is fucking mind blowing. Yeah. It's big brother and little brother all rolled up into one. Huh? Sees everything you do and tells on you. Thank you, Josh. So what's the fix? Sledgehammers and fire. No, sledgehammers on fire. <laughs> All of that data in one place means they can reject your fucking application before you click on it. Congratulations, you have been free rejected for our credit card. <clears throat> or your house or your insurance. That's not even the worst case scenario. All that data in the hands of the government, they'll arrest you for shit before you even do it. Yeah, I've been there. <laughs> I don't fucking know why. Man, fuck it! Fuck it, man. We're hackers. We, we out think, we out there. I, I say we tear down the fucking wall. Hey, show everyone what, what Bloom's up to, man. Show, show the world that their personal data is being used to rob them of their fucking freedoms. Fuck. I installed a back door, so all we gotta do is walk right through. Uh, hold on. What? He installed a back door, so all we have to do is walk through. 
fingers. <laughs> That's what he just said. Hey, man. Do you have the time? Oh, yeah, man. I, I got it. I got it. Oh, late for a night run, isn't it? Hey, what are you, what are you running from the cops? <laughs> Maybe I am one. Hey, hey you, you look familiar. <laughs> Have a good party. What the fuck? What was that all about? King, this motherfucker. Oh, of course, because we're drunk. Take advantage of us when we're weak. Hello? Whose phone is this? It's your new phone. <laughs> Where's my phone? In the ocean, where you threw it, I think. I don't remember. I was pretty smashed. Look, meet us at the hacker space. Where? Check your pics and figure it out. So these guys are the ones that recruited us into their whole little hacker society or hacker crew, if you will. Okay, come on. Yo, whose place am I in? <laughs> I guess I was lit, huh? <laughs> like Mardi Gras. Go get yourself something to wear, and I'll tell you where to go next. Oh, and you'll need your phone ready for operations. So hit the store and download your apps before you get here. Damn, walk of shame on my first day. Okay, so press options for your phone. Select the app shop. Okay. Hold on, let me walk away from here, because I, I got this freaking... Dude, this game looks insane. Jesus. Oh, these colors are beautiful. Okay, anyways, what's this guy doing? He's <laughs> doing push-ups. All right, let me go here, go to the app shop, and install Noodle, Ma um, Noodle Maps. Okay. Buy and install. Wow, this is sick. You can use Noodle Maps to set waypoints on your next objective. Okay. Get information about the location by hovering over it. And uh, reach areas of interest and look around to find activities to do. Okay, so now we have to go. Wait, how do I track destination or add a waypoint? Okay, how do I do that? Oh, noodle maps, because it's here. World and activities, clothing and shopping kiosks. Visit clothing shops and kiosks, purchase all... Purchase and change man, um, Marcus's outfits. Access all purchase clothes from any clothing shop or hacker space HQ. Access the premium store. Oh, so this is the map. Ooh, fancy. All right, so where are we supposed to go? Are we supposed to go to the, the, the clothes shop? Is it this one right here? Where are we at? That's where I open filters. Oh, we're here. Okay, so we have to head over here. Yeah, I do not want to fast travel since it's my first time doing this. Um, this bike looks nice. Okay, hold R2 to accelerate, brake, e-brake, look behind, camera view, and hold control the media. All right. Oh, dude, this game looks sick. Oh, shit, put, Marcus, put that gun away. Wait, can you do first person? Oh, nice. All right, here we go. Can we just go through here? Oh, snap. Oh, shit. <laughs> Talk about a shortcut. Oh, dude, this is sick. Don't mind if I do. Man, this game looks insane. Sorry. Getting carried away here. Hold on, hold on. Oh, look at them driving skills. Never seen that before, have you? Eh. Yeah, you probably have. I'm just gonna show off now. All right, hold on. I think. Wow. 
Wait. Wow, amazing. <laughs> Wait, is it here? Okay, freaking weirdo. Oh, it is here. Oh, hello there, guys. Oh, dude, this game looks cool as shit, dude. <laughs> Let's go. All right, so we've got $8,000 in our wallet. Tops. Let's go for some tops, maybe. Um, Man, there's a lot of cool shit in this game. I like those shorts, dude. I really do. Like, why do I have to change that? I don't know if I need a bag right now. I feel like... Let's see. Do we have a... Do we have a bag in a... No. I'm going to go with these road leathers, honestly. Can't go wrong with this. Put your damn pants on. All right. I'm going to rock out of here. All right, Sitar. So where you at? Ooh. Sending you the location and the passcode. Bro, the Bro, this game is beautiful. Wow. The popo. Got to be careful now. All right, so we got to head that way. So I would assume pull out our phone, go to maps, and... Jesus, it's all the way over here. Well, since it is our first time playing this game, might as well just uh, drive all the way over there, right? In hopes that we don't crash and die. Oh. Man, one thing that really stands out in this game is the colors. Like... The colors in this game are insane. Like, literally incredible. I also heard that Ubisoft did a really good job at portraying San Francisco, like, really well in the game in comparison to, to what it is like in real life. I wish we had a close-up camera for when you're driving. That'd be nice. Oh man, look at this. Holy cow. Am I here popping wheelies? Dude, that's crazy. I can't believe I've been sleeping on this game for so long. I don't know, maybe it's because like I started playing the first one and then I... I love the idea behind the first one. It was all about revenge and whatnot, but I just... I couldn't finish it, man. It really just... I lost interest in it. After a little while. I kind of had a bad taste in my mouth, and I totally, totally dismissed this one. But, sheesh. It's crazy. Oh, man. This is really cool. And it also seems like you can fast travel almost anywhere. Because, honestly, I haven't really visited anywhere since we just started the game. But the game is giving me options to uh, fast travel. Just huge in an open world game like this. Ooh. We're out here popping. <laughs> Look! Sorry. Uh, this is gonna be a, it's gonna be a blast. All right, here we are. I think this is the first time that I've played an open world game, and we're driving, whether it's a car or a motorcycle, and we have not crashed. This is the first for us. This is just too beautiful. Like th this game is. Like, this is too good to be true right now. This is insane. Like, back in the days, we would only dream of a game being open world and looking this good. Again, keep in mind, I am playing on the computer, so... Might have something to do with it. Alright, so we gotta go in here. Some of these NPCs really feel very lifelike. That's crazy. So this is pretty much like our HQ. A hacker space. Dead sec ha ha hacker space. Wow. Yo, finally. So Josh and I spoke, and fucking over Bloom has been a long standing project. All right, you need two things to take down Bloom. 
You need to get people to rally behind your cause and separate you from the trolls. And we need bots, and a lot of them to handle the data CTOS is processing. Thank you, Josh. We spent all night modifying our app so you can get followers to download the app, and we can use their processing power for the cause. This is happening? It's really happening? Mm -hmm. Man, this is happening. You better get to it. <laughs> Hell yeah, man! Barbarians are at the gate and ready to bust some Roman heads. We're gonna focus on some high-profile ops, playing for exposure and laughs to get people to download our app. Mm -hmm. All right. Don't worry. That was in my phone. <laughs> Marcus! <laughs> Check you out. Alive and dry. I wasn't sure after your moonlight swim. Come here. You've got to check this out. The original Chicago DedSec has coordinated operations. Everybody mostly working towards the same goal. Rumors say that the leaderless group actually has somebody upstairs calling the shots. The Council of Daves. I can't say if it's true or not, but somebody's focusing their efforts. I know because I studied everything about them, even ran a few of their ops. I wanted to emulate them, try to figure out what worked for them and apply it to us. But the members of our Bay Area dead set couldn't be more different from each other. Now, if there was a spectrum spanning anarchists to activists, we'd probably fill the whole damn thing. But there's one thing that unites the key crew. Each one of us has reason to hate big data, or more specifically, Bloom and its CTOS. I've been overseeing operations, making sure people get to where they need to be with the tools they require. I've got eyes on the big picture. The way I see it, I've lit the fuse. It's only a matter of time before Bloom feels the dead sec explosion. Behold, our very own open source research app. So, like, all of us here pool vulnerabilities that we find, and we encourage everyone to share their work, their research, etc. Okay, so what's the research app do? Widen our skill set? Make us irresistible to the gender of our choice? What, so it's like a I-know-kung-fu kind of deal? If kung-fu was a gender and not so 1999, absolutely. Select the research app. Okay, cool. <clears throat> oh, so these are your skills. Holy cow. Okay. So, uh, vehicle hacking, social engineering, remote control, marksmanship, upgrade hacking capacity, gadget mastery, city disruption. I mean, I don't... This hack sends a distraction to civilian phones or blast feed feedback in enemies' headsets. It can also cancel 911 calls and reinforcement calls. Distract someone, press L1 or hold L1 to press the triangle option. Okay. That actually sounds really good. So we have four. How many points do we have right now? Four. Okay. And then we have here Trickster. Remote control, forklift, scissor lifts, and cranes. Okay, marksman increases reload speed of pistols. Okay, so right off the bat, I'm gonna go with this. Okay. And I'm gonna go with this one over here. Oh, this one was how many? Oh, shoot. I have zero. I thought I had four. I had two only. Ah, okay, so that'll be the next one we do. That's fine. Behold, it. the wonders of technology. A 3D printer. This is the army of printers. It is capable of pumping out an arsenal <laughs> of lethal weapons. Down. I'm so, Arnold. So, yep. <laughs> Once you master it, voila. Hipster merchant of death. All good, except I'm no hipster. <laughs> you keep telling yourself that. Now try to make something. But don't blow us up. All right, so interact with the... Triangle with 3D printer to buy and equip weapons. All right. Ooh. The weapon slot. The jumper. What is this? Zero dollars. Yo, this is some like high tech shit, bro. What? Wait, 
Or what? Where'd he hide it? In his pocket? <laughs> Alright, weapon slot one. So, sheesh. Alright, these are paint jobs as well. Military. So this is, uh, don't we already have this one? Pistol designed by wrenched dead sec members, packing a heavy punch designed to obliterate, mo uh, obliterate most targets at short range. Wait, is this like the, is this the same thing as the, the stun gun we have? Or is this like an actual pistol? Oh, sh wait, we don't have that. Whoa, be careful there now, Marcus. I just realized that Unicorn has a rainbow up his ass. That's nice. Alright, so gadgets and weapons. Use the equipment wheel to equip weapons and gadgets. Hold up on a D-pad. Select. Uh, deploy and take care. Deploy or take control of the jumper. And the coopter. Alright, let's see what else can we do here. Oh, shoot. 67 thousand dollars all right so we don't have any more cash to get other weapons so we're gonna head over here go speak to our good old pal Horat horatio Horat Hor good to have another brother Horatio. Hey, good to be here man are you all hackers yeah kind of a basic requirement to get invited into the hacker space but we all have our specialties like josh over there Always building shit that shouldn't work. <laughs> now he's trying to build this big ass drone. And wrench? Good engineer too. But better at breaking shit apart. And yo, Satara? <laughs> Sis got skills as an artist and a graphic designer. Without her, dead sex walking around without a face or voice. What about you? What's your superpower? Tactical coordinator or cat herder. Take your pick. I make dead sex go where it has the most impact. You heard of Prime 8? Those are some real dirty hacking motherfuckers. Yeah, I brushed up against them before. It wasn't pleasant. All right, that's what I like to hear. Link up with me when you're ready to do this, and I'll fill you in. There's always someone running ops against Prime 8. Bet they'd love your help. All right. Online activities are purple icons on noodle maps. Form co-op co -op, uh, operations to steal data. Um, join cops to hunt down rivals and assist nearby dead set allies. You can change your online privacy settings in the game options app. Select settings and choose online preferences. Okay. We'll speak to this chick over it's here. Something, right? This whole place is something. We used to keep track of news feeds on here, but now it's our follower wall. So it knows if we're trending? No, no, no. It's based on hard values. How many people downloaded our app, how much processing power we have access to, you know. Nice. And speaking of which, we're downloading the DeadSec app into your phone as we speak. When it's ready, open it up, click the suggested op, and hit the park outside so we can test it. Sounds good. One more thing. I put a reminder on your phone so you remember what we're gunning for. Get enough processing power to take down Blue. New operation available. Walk in the park. All right, so... Wait, what is this over here in the corner? I don't think we have access. Nope. Like a key there. What is that? Audio so file. So we've been looking at this new guy. Calls himself Retro. Now I like his style. Spent some time in Oakland. In fact, that's where he earned some of his hacker cred. I read everything I could about it when it was going down. The home domain center had to deal with Homeland Security. They rolled out cameras in Oakland and started stockpiling data on everybody. Somehow, Retro got targeted by the thing and profiled him based on his computer skills and marked him as a prime suspect in the local high-tech robbery. The evidence was all digital. Nothing put him at the scene of the crime. And the case <laughs> was a shit show. Full of quotes from people who didn't know anything about technology, lies everywhere, false flags and fear-mongering. <laughs> they weren't about to admit to a flaw in their system. Retro got lucky. He got a judge that decided not to throw the book at him. So he ended up with community service. He says it wasn't a big deal because he got to work with kids. Taught them the truth about the system in place. Probably the best lesson they've ever learned. But he knew he was going back after the HDC. He data mined them, hacked into the accounts of their key members, exposed every little thing that showed just how corrupt the system was. A huge victory, right? 
Yeah, maybe not so much. Oh, he spanked the HDC, no question. Got the program shut down hard. So where did all those cameras in Oakland go? They're still there. But guess who owns them now? Bloom. They're part of the CTOS, being used to track and profile people, just like the HDC was doing. And now Retro's got himself a nasty profile on record. We think he's gonna be eager to do something about it, and can't wait to see him work. My vet, he's prime dead sec material. Well, you were right, pal. You were absolutely right. All right, so get to the dead sec app. I like to walk in the park. Ooh, so these are the missions, or what? Main operation: walk in the park. Use dead sec app to track the new mission. It's up to you to raise dead secs. Notoriety, uh, no, no, notoriety, notoriety, notoriety. I've always had an issue with that word. Leave me alone in San Francisco. The more exposure Detsik has with their ops, the more botnet power, botnet, botnet power, they'll have to run their operations. All right, so here we go. Tracking mission. Is that it? Reach the missions in Dolores Park. Okay, so we're already tracking it. Good. <clears throat> New activity unlocked. There we go. Oh, snap. <laughs> what? Um, it pays to explore San Francisco Bay Area. R3, toggle, uh, toggle the net hack everywhere to locate rewards and operations until areas of interest. Restricted areas often contain money bags. Once discovered, interesting items are marked on a noodle map. Accusing Oakland City Councilor Miranda Kamei of defamation. In a recent interview, the councilor had described the organization as, quote, a fraudulent pyramid scheme. The organization seems to have fought back with more than just lawyers. The councilor's private life was recently revealed when medical records of the councilor's transgender treatments were mysteriously released to the media a spokesperson for new dawn said that the organization had nothing to do with the leaked medical records and in her statement accused counselor kamei of desperately seeking attention okay that's really cool how you can see the, the news right there the apps downloaded and i'm in the park what am i testing start profiling things around you people devices see what you can pull from them that's what helps us figure out our next ops. And running ops that are important to people is how we get them interested in DedSec. The more followers download our app, the more intel we get. It's the circle of life. Oh, and see if you can find some components to help us with our research. Hipster merchant. <sighs> the app is your data mining tool. Of death. Okay, okay, I got this. So what now? Up to you, man. You're free to do whatever catches your eye. We post ops to the DedSec app, and doing them helps us get followers. And followers are our Skrilla. Followers mean computers, which boosts our processing power, which lets us do bigger and better ops. Guys, the Cyber Driver trailer just dropped. Oh, yeah, sweet. Hey, don't watch it without me. <laughs> Meet you at the Hacker's Wave. I'm on my way. Okay, so maybe this is what we have to do. New operation available. Let me see. main okay that's what we have to do okay uh, so right now i'm mainly primarily focused on just main story missions i got a gun i'm sorry guys don't worry about it i'm not gonna shoot anybody unless you try me i'm gonna shoot your ass you know what i'm saying oh, shit <laughs> open up FBI open up. <laughs> right, let's see what this is all about. Yeah, that was hilarious. Have you seen the trailer for the new Jimmy Siska movie? No, it's out. Hey, hey, pull it up, no, man. No, no, not on this. For this, we need perfect sound. We need a big screen. We need to be comfy. We need quiet. Have you seen it yet? No, man. I waited for you. You're the best. Thank you. All right, everybody, we're going to watch the trailer. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. 
in a world where technology connects everything. I'm not looking for justice, goddammit. One man prowls the information superhighway in search of cyber justice. I'm looking for cyber justice. Simple line of code could devastate the whole world. It's gonna be a cyber caster. Cyber Driver. <laughs> Hit him with the code for a chip. Jimmy Siska is. <laughs> Got no choice, kiddies. Follow me or die. Devin Von Devin. Devin Von Devin. They aren't hackers, Devin. They're just script kitties. Hey, the car answered. This ain't your mama's smart car. I think next time we're gonna need a higher firewall, pal. Cyber, Cyber Driver. driver. <laughs> Action hero, badass. Talking car. A admit it, Josh. The car is cool. You know what I'm thinking? We cut our own version of that trailer. And that car is gonna help us do it. For real? I wouldn't have us a ton of followers. Yo, first, Josh and I will go to the studio to get that script. We'll look around and see what other gems they have about death sec. And we'll look for the car. All right, so what's the deal here? Are we, are we issuing an advisory? No, why would we do that? They'll just patch the holes. Uh, let them. Don't worry, Cyber Child. Oh, don't. Hacker movie's gonna get hacked. HMP Studios. We are holding you solely responsible for the threat that is Cyber Driver. Cyber Driver. Cheesy stunts and bad dialogue, we can take. But you've insulted our intelligence. And that we can't excuse. It seems like you could deal with a lesson on what hackers are capable of. And since you didn't come to us to learn, We'll come to you to teach. We are launching Operation Hack and Run. We'll show you what hackers can do. We are dead set. Bro, that's cool as hell, man. That's really cool. Alright, so drive to the HMP Studios. Where's that at? Alright, we're gonna get out of here. Let's see. Let's go to the Noodle Maps. And actually not that far off all right let's open up yeah this game is awesome bro there's just uh no ands ifs or buts i'm sorry whoever i shot here if you're still here you didn't go seek medical attention i'm sorry yeah everybody left what the hell <laughs> everyone left you guys thought that movie was gonna be good? <laughs> well, yeah, sure. They're fun to laugh at. Cool, you said. Uh, did I actually say cool? Here's what we know, Josh. Cyber Driver is shaped up to be a million dollar cyber catastrophe. I know you're trying to get my goats with that word. Uh, I don't want that, man. Keep your goats. Why would Galileo allow their name to be sullied? You mean cyberized? You can keep trying, but it will never be funny to me. I'm not gonna lie. If those scenes were what they chose for the trailer, yeah, the rest of it's gonna be jack shit. And why they chose to target DedSec is curious. Well, Chicago was a big deal. True. Anyway, don't worry. You and me are prowling the information highway to seek out our own cyber justice. Look, Josh, we're gonna have fun with this. And I promise I won't say cyber anymore. You know, after this, the cyber world will never be the same. <laughs> yeah, one thing I've noticed... The motorcycle animations are really bad. <laughs> like the turning is terrible. Oh. oh. And there it is. Sorry. Put motion Picture Studios. I just rammed into that freaking gate. <laughs> I thought I was gonna break it. Alright, so we're gonna head that way. Hack into the HMP Studio 3.
and yeah, the colors, the colors that really stand out for me are like the reds, the blues, and the yellows in this game. They stand out insanely, insanely good. I don't know if that made sense. Sorry. All right, so use the jumper to access areas Marcus cannot. The jumper can interact with objects, including closed circuit terminals. Oh, that's the jumper. You are entering a restricted area. Okay, guys, I'm in. All right, so what if... Hmm. All right, how the heck do we... Can we just stay hidden back here? Yeah, I think I'm going to stay hidden back here. Yep. All right, so use the jumper to access areas Marcus cannot. All right, can we, like, now, like, fuck with people? All right, so... Oh, man. Oh, I should have just waited. Let's find you, then. Oh, shoot. Don't I too far out. Oh, so now they're all alert. They've all been alerted. Ooh, dude, this thing can do everything. All right, I'm gonna attract people to it. Marcus is being detected? How? Okay, we gotta go up there. We're uh, running out of organic kills from these at the craft table. Could you please send out one of the PA to test the Marcus? Alright, good. Now right, we can do this. Um. Alright, we need to find a way in there. Hey, how? Find the closed circuit. All right, we got to find a way in there. Hold on. Oh, that's the door. Yeah, go over there. Oh my goodness. Are we really doing all of this with this drone? <laughs> Bro, this is crazy. Closed circuit terminal, unlocked doors connected. Unlock. Wow, that is wild. What? Dude, that is insane. Okay, so we've got one right over here. Can we hack this? Dude, we should be able to hack that, right? Wait, why can't I hack that? Gotta close that door. Oh my goodness. This guy's got a gun. Alright, we're gonna go up. I think it was probably better to do this without Marcus. <laughs> Dude, the freaking... Yo! The stealth is crazy! Alright, steal the movie script, so what do I do? There we go. Oh, I had to go by the back. 
They sold us junk for four mil. Here we Make go. them pay nice. through the ass. Then nice. not those secret emails. Alright, so now we just gotta steal the movie script. Be advised, <gasps> reports a previously identified target near your location. Over. Oh what the freaking hell? What wait, what are you what are you doing? Oh well thank you! He opened the door for me. <laughs> oh my god, he opened up the door. <laughs> oh, dude, I could have just came through here. Get the full script to Cyber Drive. What about the car? I don't think it's on site. We'll find it. I'm heading out now. All right, let's get the heck out of here. Yo, thanks for the ride, chump! <laughs> thanks for the ride, losers! Uh... <laughs> oh my god, that freaking dude... Ooh, I almost ran over the doggy. Oh, well, freaking hell. There we go. Hey guys, I found an email that says the car is being delivered to a location, but doesn't say where or when. That's okay. I think I have a backup plan. Banished. Mission complete. Dude, that was hilarious. <laughs> Gained followers, 27,000. Marcus, I have a paparazzi contact who knows where the car is. He's waiting for you. We'll give him whatever he asks for out of that email dump. He's good for it. Sure. You have a paparazzi contact? <laughs> Is there anyone you don't know? That's me, social butterfly. Coming up after the break, we'll be sitting down with a former street artist. Sweet T, as he's known in the community, is here to promote a new book of his art and a brand new fashion line, including t-shirts, caps, and bling. Very exciting stuff. And bling. <laughs> We're going to end the episode here. It's been a fantastic first episode of Watch Dogs 2. The game is really cool. Very, very unique in its own way. And um, I enjoyed the first part, honestly. Love the graphics. Love the gameplay. Love the stealth portion of it. Which I hear it's there's a lot of stealth. Um, but yeah, if you guys like to see more Watch Dogs 2 here on the channel, drop it a like. And thank you for watching.